Hello everyone. So today in this snow landscape, I'm going to show you how to make this uh, snow deform as the character walks around like this. So here we are not using any runtime virtual textures or anything. We This system is based on distance fields. So because of that, this effect will work anywhere on the world as long as we are using distance fields uh, and the snow material. So yeah uh let's see how to implement this today and in a while you can see snow returns to normal as well but there are parameters if you want to make the trail longer and if you want to make them last longer so all right and here i have already worked on how to get this trail behind the character initially we worked on a grass field so we will use the same trail system but the material would be different for the landscape we will implement displacement nanite desolation and displacement enabled snow material we will create that here and yeah if you want to refer to anything else that i have done is this series here is the full playlist everything is explained here and as always, you can find the project files of this project and all other thousands of different things that I have done in my channel, in my Patreon page. So once you become a member, everything will be accessible for you. Feel free to check it out. And now let's get back to today's tutorial. Hello everyone. So this is what we have worked on so far in this series. So here you can see on the car, the car is making a trail on the grass and you can see the trail left by the car when we look behind. So, and also the same effect is applied to the character as well. If I change this to the person game mode, you can see the character is also making a travel path like this so yeah this is what we have worked on so far in this project and also we looked into how to create displacement enabled landscapes yesterday this is the test we did uh, the landscape doesn't look good because it looks styled but the displacement is there so today we are going to work on we are going to create a snow landscape with a landscape deformation that is affected by the same system so that we can see a trail on the snow based on displacement so based on distance fields okay let's create a new level by the way this is five point six zero and here i have enabled sm6 shared a model and yeah that's pretty much all i think yeah so let me create a new level uh, by the way if you have any doubts please refer to the videos that we covered this uh how to enable displacement on landscape and also refer to the videos that we did on reactive grass as well but it's not necessary to follow this but it would be better to have an understanding on the existing system so yeah now here i want to make this a snow landscape so let's import some snow texture first oh what's this <laughs> Great. So uh, let me save this first. Oh, let me skip. Okay. Let's search. It's awesome. Let's try this one. Clean is now. It should have a normal displacement. After 
I call it the add to project. Okay, here. Question. All right. It does have a height map. Great. First, I'll go here. I need to change this to grayscale and enable RGB. This would properly. These are the proper settings to have displacement. Okay, and I'm not going to use this material. I'm gonna create my own material. So yeah, no, let's do it here. M and scale snow. And I'll import oh as the textures here. Yeah. Uh, actually I don't need this right now. Not necessary. All I need for now is base color, normal map, ORM, what's this? T anyway, let me just grab these three. Connected. This is uh, ORM occlusion. Nice. Metallic. The normal. Right. Let me apply this. And here. Uh, I will add the displacement as well. Uh, I don't see the displacement option because I need to enable an ID tessellation. Now I have displacement option. Let me connect this. Okay. Apply. The material is here. M landscape is no. Let me apply that material into my landscape. Okay. Now I do have the snow. If I enable my Third person game mode and play. So I don't see any kind of interaction with the character yet. That's fine. But also, displacement is not yet working on this landscape. We need to enable that. So, enable night and build data. So, see. No, this displacement is not correct, but it is working. So we can now fine tune this. First thing is, I'll use some value like yes, nanite. Magnitude. Let's do something like 0.5 and apply. Now this is still too much but it's much reduced but also you can see the character is floating on the ground so what if i make this here yeah now the character is not floating on the ground but still this is too much but as i said i don't really need this displacement map Anyway, we can further turn down the effect. It was point one, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Now we have something. Okay, now just like we did for the grass material, let's get this uh, distance to nearest surface, and then divide it by a parameter. 
let's call it range distance field range maybe 10 and then we can let's plan this between 0 and 1 to avoid any unnatural effects and add to this connect all right now you wouldn't see anything different right away Okay. What's happening? Okay. All right, right. I know the landscape should not write into distance field. So Disable that. Okay, now see, now you do see some trail. So we this is not good as it is. So here, what happens is, if in case you haven't followed my previous tutorials in this series, uh, we get this distance paired, distance to nearest surface, and on my character, I have a trail of static meshes that represents the trail the character is following those are like invisible meshes so that distance field created by those invisible meshes making the ground push down so that's what happening here if i add some shape let's see sphere here also going on here So here you see in the placed object around the sphere you can see the landscape is pushed down see so this is the effect i wanted but this glitching thing i i'm not sure why that happens maybe a bug but it goes away once i play the game so we need to optimize the character's trail there is some let's look into that now but so basically this is what's going on here and if you i already have a masked material this one this is completely transparent material if i apply that material to the, this to this sphere it's completely vanished now but you can still see the affected area on this now and you see this uh, the middle part is black that's because uh, the amount pushed down is lower than the center position of the snow so the normal i guess the light calculation is not working properly below so we need to make sure the affected amount remains above the landscape zero level so maybe we can clamp this oh, that's not good uh, why we Raise this a little bit. Okay. No, it's still not there. So let's try something like this. Instead of using this uh, texture, let's create a 
Let me break this. Together. Promote this to a parameter. Very smart. Let's define a value. Okay, like point three. Yeah, now this is better. See, we don't see any blackness compared to the size of the object that we are using for the footprints. But we do see some flickering. That's because those objects are moving towards the player so that we can make it vanish in time. So, but this effect is good. I like the way it looks. So to avoid this flickering, to minimize that at least. Okay, so to avoid flickering, let me try this. Go here and this trail. We can aim for this. Let's try increasing this. Maybe 200 and level speed 40. This should give us better results. Yeah, smoother than before. Yeah. Okay, and it's still, if you feel like it's vanishing too much, maybe instead of having a trail, we should think about placing some objects that represent footprint uh, and instead of moving them away we can just keep them in the level so maybe that is something we should look into in the next episode so yeah thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions in the comments and next time yeah as i said i want to implement a footsteps based system to get the deformation on snow and also I want to uh, see how the system would react to vehicles as well. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in another episode. Goodbye.